All right, guys, we're heading into springtime in 2022. There is no inventory on the market. The world is in turmoil. And to top it off, now interest rates are going up. What does it all mean for you? Let's get into it. So you've committed to buying a house this year. Good for you. I think it's a really good move. And I'm going to talk about why. But one thing we need to be cognizant of is the fact that interest rates are going up and we need to know what your options are because of that. Hey, how's it going? Derek Waranka here. I'm the broker owner at M1 Realty, founder of the company. We've been in business here since 2014 and we've grown this company into the largest real estate firm in the city of Ferndale. And before we get too far into this, I would really, really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to this channel. I like to bring informative content once a week that uh, really helps you guys out as consumers. Now, one of the many factors that I track with my agents every single week is the average mortgage interest rate for that week. And what we've been seeing over the past, you know, couple months is slowly, steadily, interest rates are rising. They were at a plateau for quite a while there, and just probably in the past month. I'm filming this in uh, the end of February 2022. The past month, we've seen a pretty drastic jump in, uh, in the average uh, mortgage rate. So before we break down interest rates effect on your monthly payment, let's break down your payment itself. So your monthly mortgage payment is broken down into four parts. And that's principal, interest, tax, and insurance. Now, the number one influence that you could have on your payment is taxes, because if you move, uh, depending on what city you're in, what school district you're in, that can have a big swing on how much taxes you're gonna pay. But the second biggest thing is probably interest rate. Let's say hypothetically that you want a $1,000 a month uh, mortgage payment. So when you break that down, if your interest rate is 3.5%, you're gonna be paying a lot less towards your interest than you would be at a 4.5% interest rate. So that means a lot more of that money can go towards buying down the principal on your property, which is really what you want because that's what builds equity and helps you, uh, you know, move on to that next house and have a nice cushion to, uh, to fall back on. And as that interest rate goes up and the amount of money you have left over to pay down the principal goes down, well, that just means that over the life of the loan, you're gonna end up paying a lot more in interest than you would otherwise. Now the good news is, yes, interest rates have jumped up, uh, you know, considerably from where they were, you know, six, seven months ago for sure. But in the grand scheme of things, uh, interest, the, the average mortgage rate right now as of the making of this video is still really, really historically low. So you're not like going to get in yourselves into a position where you're just like, your payment's going to be astronomically higher. Your, you know, buying power is going to be astronomically lower. I mean, it's a jump of a percent, which nobody wants to see. You don't want to pay more, uh, a higher interest rate than you have to. But that being said, at the end of the day, we're still looking good. We're in the, in the, in the low fours right now which is a, it's a good spot to be traditionally. I mean, in, uh, in the 80s, interest rates, we're, ta we're talking like you know, 16, 18, 20%, and we're talking four and a half. So it's not like the sky is falling or anything like that. Just something that we wanna be, uh, to have in the back of our mind as we're looking at homes. And now it's important to note that as we get further into the year, um, all of the analysts that I typically do, re that I research, that, I, that I've come to know and trust, that have uh, always provided good quality information, um, they're all forecasting interest rates continuing to rise throughout the entire year. So that being said, I don't think anybody's expecting them to like spike towards the end of the year, but it's going to be a gradual rise. So if you're thinking about purchasing, you know, you're probably better off doing it sooner rather than later. Uh, even though there is a, you know, a lack of inventory and in a, you know, four to six months, you know, down the road as, as we go into spring and summer, we should see more inventory on the market. There's also gonna be more competition from other buyers. So um, if you are pre-approved and ready to go, it's not the worst time in the world right now to, to get in there and lock in a, a, as low a rate as you possibly can. And you know, like anything else, so we, if we know that interest rates probably are gonna be a little bit higher further down the road uh, towards the end of the year, that's just something that we need to prepare for. As long as you're comfortable with it, that's really the only thing that matters. Now there is the option, and we haven't seen this in a very long time, but it is an option of paying points to buy down your rate. Now what that essentially means is instead of paying a higher interest rate over time on the life of the loan, 
you're gonna bring extra money to closing to buy your rate down up front. Now, I don't recommend that for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it's really not that necessary. I mean, interest rates are, like I said, not crazy high. Historically, they're pretty low. And number two, it kind of eliminates a little bit of flexibility on, on your part because if you're buying your rate down up front, that means you're, it, 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 may, it makes less sense for you to sell quickly if you have to. So unless you're planning on living in a house, you know, seven to 10 years, you're not gonna realize that, uh, that savings by buying down the rate to begin with. So for those reasons, I don't really recommend it, although I, you know, I wanted to let you know what all your options are, so that's one of them. So another good thing about knowing what we expect to happen to interest rates further uh, on in the year is the fact that once you do find that property that, that you wanna move into, we get the deal under contract, you can go in and lock your rate in right away. So that protects you from other interest rate rises. So that really uh, you know, behooves you to, as soon as you start looking, um, you know, we wanna get a deal under contract, you wanna lock that rate right away so that even if uh, you know, the Fed uh, raises interest rates you know, and, and, and the whole mortgage uh, the whole mortgage industry is, you know, goes haywire and interest rates go up. You're still locked in at that, at that original rate. So nothing can change that. Um, and so it's a really good idea to get with a reputable uh, lender and we can provide uh, references easily. We've got, we work with some of the absolute best in the business and uh, they can explain your options probably better than I can because they're experts. But, uh, you know, just for the intents and purposes of this video, uh, I can give you a really good overview of uh, what your options are as far as interest rates. And as always, if you ever have any questions whatsoever, you can always call or text me directly at 248-561-6155 or shoot me an email at dwaranka at m1realty.net. And again, I really, really would appreciate it if you'd like this video, subscribe to this channel. We're always trying to provide you with original content that's informative and helpful for you. And uh, you know any feedback that I can get, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, once again, guys, thank you so much. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you soon.